Hey Virgos, welcome or welcome back. Thank you guys so much for being here, showing all your love and support. Seasons, greetings, happy new year when it comes. We're gonna get into a collective message for Virgo. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and stick around till the end of the video for your daily Virgo messages. If you need a personal, be sure to email me. All right, I do also provide a exclusive membership Virgo read at least once or twice a month. So tune in for that as well here. If you want exclusive messages aside from my daily messages. All right. So those of you guys that have a membership, I really do appreciate y'all for supporting me. Okay. Let's see. What's the message here? Somebody here could be getting in cardio with skipping, okay? Because I'm hearing some sort of like um, skipping kind of song. Texaco, Mexico, over the hills where we do the splits. That's kind of like a song that we used to um, do here as we're skipping. Or somebody, um, somebody could be skipping over something, okay? We have the Three of Swords. That's coming out. I'm going to get two more. Somebody's overcoming something. There is a energy of overcoming something or not allowing people to um, stab you in the back. It's like you're definitely not the same person that you were or may have been to other people when it comes to being fragile. Okay. It's like certain things that may have hurt you in the past. It's like you're you're getting over them. It's like you're you're fighting battles here. Okay. There's a masculine that is in his feelings. Somebody here feels like you're being unfair when it comes to putting up your guard. Somebody has their guard up. Somebody feels like you've healed in no time. Okay. I heard you're a tough cookie. You've endured a lot here. I feel like the reason why nothing really phases you as much is because you, it's like, it's kind of complicated. It's not like you're, you're expecting certain things like this to happen from people, but it's like you prepare yourself for the worst, but hope for the best type of energy. That's what I'm picking up. We have the tower. So somebody here could be overwhelmed with something. I feel like it has something to do with a, a um, decision that a family dynamic is making or um, a decision pertaining to um, integrating lives or going with the flow of what family dynamics wants for you or everybody. The tower is here in reverse, so I feel like something is being delayed from, from changes being made. I feel like there's a lot of competition. Okay, somebody could be going through a relationship dynamic that, that brings arguments, fights. There's some sort of cheating scandal, okay, with a third party, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, somebody here is no longer dealing with a person there is a breakup or a separation okay there's a lack of stability yep somebody's not in love with the person anymore okay there is a no duality because of a secret that came out pertaining to um somebody being unfaithful okay that's what i'm picking up let's see here or somebody's not over a past situation Three of Swords. Mm, I told you, Six of Wands. You are definitely improving how you go through something. I feel like you're getting um, compliments, like way to go. Like compared to what you've been through, it's like you're you're in a different type of element. I told you, you don't take no bullshit. Okay, this is for a Virgo Libra or some sort of cusper. It's like you make it clear to people now what it is that you expect or it's over. Like you don't really pay anything, any mind. 
who is this king of cups and what's the overall energy okay so whoever this king of cups is right um this person is angry. This person is angry that you've already built a wall around what you want, what you need. They feel like you're pushing them out, okay? I feel like somebody's trying to connect through spiritual um, commitments to be with you because I feel like without that, they're not getting what they want and it's bringing them some sort of like um, boredom Okay, somebody's bored with the things that are happening in their own lives. This could be a Libra, Capricorn, or an Aquarius, or a water sign, or somebody that has those signs in their chart, or whoever it is that they're dealing with. The number 11 and 6 could be significant. Somebody could be seeing 611. Somebody may need some sort of like assistance or information on something. Somebody needs to go on. Um, See, look, information I see in the hermit. There's something about gaining wisdom, okay? Somebody's looking into whom they see a, a relationship with or who they can court, okay? I feel like somebody, somebody is being distracted because they have a lot of responsibilities, okay? Somebody's name is Kayla or Kaya. I heard Dennison. I don't know if this is somebody's last name or somebody's name could be Dennis or this could be a location or apartment, complex name, whatever this is. The tower is being clarified by the three of cups. I feel like there is some sort of delay with um, a situation or there's some sort of gossip. I feel like somebody's holding back on telling somebody something or bringing this to the light. In order to, to stop somebody from worrying, they need to release anxiety, okay? But I feel like the anxiety is coming from somebody not feeling supported or a person not putting in the work to build together, okay? Somebody feels like all the, um, the effort is coming from one side. Somebody here could even be stealing from a person here, stealing time and effort, but this is something that you won't put up with. I feel like whatever this person or whoever this person is that's going through all of this, this, this individual or this could be you, it's like you know the difference. You've gone through this with your person and you're not putting up with this now. But somebody here is not a good friend, not a good lover, doesn't have your best interest and wants to waste your time or breadcrumb you. Okay, now it's time for you to focus on the things that you need to do. I feel like there's somebody here, right, that is afraid to get out there, to put their name out there. I don't know why. Somebody here is afraid of their own level or potential of success. Somebody doesn't know. I feel like somebody could be afraid of how far they can go. It's like that's what scares them is like they know they have full potential, but how far can this go? Okay. I'm hearing that you need to put all of your self-esteem into who you are. I feel like because somebody here has always been seen as a sex symbol or very beautiful or whatever the case may be, I feel like this is somebody here that has really, really good features, okay? So somebody wants to stay hidden. Somebody is very confident. However, it's like the journey of going through something is nerve-wracking. Spirit is telling you that you're ready for some sort of opportunity here. And I feel like there's a lot of people that could be sending you evil eye energy because they see you as inspiration. It's so funny that this is coming out because I did pick up this energy while I was doing my shorts just now, okay? Somebody's trying to stop or um, what do you call that? They're trying to interfere in something that's being manifested for you already. Like it's already written in the stars. Okay, let's see. I heard the word imagine and also um, heard the word dragon, okay? We have the waiting game. So you could be playing the waiting game when it comes to um, something that you're, you want to proceed with or to find growth in. 
I'm also getting like, there's something that's deep rooted. Okay. I feel like you've, you've really gone through certain steps to make sure that you're not rushing into something. It's all about divine timing. There's something about waiting. Okay. Knowing or being aware of time or when to do something. I feel like somebody here lacks some form of transformation. Okay. There's not enough effort being put into something or somebody's waiting for a sign. Yeah. Somebody could be conflicted about, um, how they, they go about doing something. I feel like you're coming into some sort of financial and material change here. The number two is significant to new beginnings, fresh starts and things of that nature. Somebody here could be seeing two, 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 22, 22, five, 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 one, one, one. Okay. Four, 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 six, six, six. Let's see. Somebody here could be having a really quiet day. They're in solitude or there's somebody that's meditating here. Okay. Somebody here could be doing self-care or needs to, to bring in self-care when it comes to um, your health and your body, making sure that you're going to get checked up every six months. Okay. Or maybe earlier than that, depending on if you have um, medical issues and things of that sort. I feel like there's something that you're going to be celebrating, okay? Because I just seen um, found a celebration with with trophies. Somebody here could be um, winning a tournament or preparing for something. There's some sort of reward or award, or maybe there's um, your children. Or somebody here is being recognized for the work or effort that they put into something. There's some form of achievement. It's coming very soon in the next eight days, eight hours, or something like that. I feel like within the next eight weeks, you're going to be completing something here. Okay. Yeah, you've definitely come into the light. Okay, or something's coming to light about a past situation. What's the message for Virgo? Okay, so we have lost. Somebody here could have been blocked or ghosted. Somebody cut a person off or is preparing to do this. I feel like somebody's tired of pretending because they want to come together with you, but um, they don't know how you'll feel about this. There's some sort of legal action that needs to be taken or somebody's going through the courts to do something or there may be um, an open court case or somebody wanting to initiate something through the courts, whatever this can be here, right? I also received this grip card. Somebody is holding on to a person very tightly from being cut off. That's what I'm picking up here. All right. Tell me more. Okay. I heard take apart or time apart. One of those. Okay. Somebody here could be living with their ex. Okay. Somebody could be living with a person that they're not dealing with intimately or on any level. It's just like a roommate type of situation. We have bad aura and hygiene. Okay. Somebody is sexually impure. Okay. This could be, this could be a young woman or masculine. Okay. Somebody wants to settle into a home. I feel like somebody has had a change of heart. Okay. Somebody is rethinking a lot of reasons why they should stay alive. Somebody here could be thinking of harming themselves. Okay. For whatever reason, we have mission abort. That's why I was getting take apart. Somebody here is failing to report information to important parties pertaining relationship or um, their ideal about who they want to be in a relationship with or whatever the case may be. Okay. I want to go ahead and clarify this here.
what is this uh, important information? Somebody here may be um, holding back on telling you that they're in a relationship because they're doing something to get follows, views, likes, or attracting attention on social media or whatever this is. Or maybe somebody just wants to be close enough to you to get um, famous, okay? Or whatever the case may be. Clarifying mission aboard somebody pregnant. Somebody could be pregnant here. This is a divine feminine. Or somebody here, right, has some form of... Um, abundance or nurturing energies that brings on the, the the ideal of what this person wants to stick to okay I feel like this person could be um, conversing about some form of heartbreak and I feel like this is the only way that this person can get back on track is to focus on something else or getting something out of it pertaining to relationships if we go on do that, then we gonna do that. I feel like somebody here could be lying to you about this, or you're lying to somebody, or uh, whatever the case may be. Somebody's only with a person because they know that they'll get something out of it, okay? Or there's somebody comes from a royal bloodline, or somebody comes from um, a family of wealth here, okay? Yeah, somebody is the queen of pentacles. Tell me more about living with an ex. Living with an ex. Okay. Yeah, somebody here could be or could have been in the recent past very happy. This is a Leo. But I feel like somebody's heart, heart space is closed off right now. Okay. There's some sort of news, good news that's coming in or some, some level of conf, conversation. Okay, somebody's trying to get a person to believe something that they say, but they're being sarcastic about something here. Okay, it has something to do with a partnership, um, an understanding, an entanglement, or whatever the case may be here like that. I feel like somebody here could be the person to um, bail them out of certain things. Like, they trust this person in that matter. Somebody here could have um, been... Um, bail this person out or help them through a lot of um, the mental things that they've been going through here. Okay. That's what I'm picking up. There could have been some sort of suicide mission that somebody has been a part of. I heard something about Cartwright or Cart cart. I heard cart. Somebody here could be going shopping or be uh, online shopping, whatever this is. Look, we have pale and I said cart. Same difference. It's time to get out of a situation, though. It's time for you to get out of a situation to keep your life in balance. Something is causing you a lot of imbalance in your life here or could potentially do damage. Okay. I heard suicide mission. That could be a part of the suicide mission here. We have new opportunities, possibilities, and paths are open, opening up for you. Yeah, with this boat card. Okay. It says money or property through an inheritance winning or windfall is coming in for you. I also talked a lot about this here. Okay. Message for Virgo. Wow. We got two in the third position, happiness and well-being. Like I said, in that short, somebody here is trying to interfere with something that already has the effect of bringing you happiness, okay? There's somebody that's trying to work against you, but it's unsuccessful is what Spirit is saying with this not, okay? You already have guaranteed success because of the hard work that you've put into whatever it is that you're doing behind the scenes or doing for yourself or others. I already explained this here. All right. Let's see who this person is. Who is this person that is working against this happiness that's coming in for you? It's somebody that wants to take something from you or to um, mishandle you in a situation where... Um, yeah, I feel like somebody's trying to um, find out some sort of information or to 
trying to mishandle something. Okay, somebody sees that you have some form of stability and they want to break that apart. Okay, it could be a Virgo or some sort of earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Okay, what is the overall effect though? This is somebody that may want you to do something that that may counteract this this overall happy time or energy. Okay. I feel like this is not going to take place. This is somebody that's going to take on a lot that they are trying to do to, to break a lot of, of things that are coming into your life apart, but it won't work. They're breaking up their own dynamic by trying to go against you. Okay. I feel like this could also interfere with their love life. If they go ahead and do this to you to counteract what good news or good things are coming in for you, they're going to end up damaging their own relationships that they've built with different people, not just romantically. Okay. Their stuff is going to be corrupted. Anything that somebody does to you will eventually come around and happen to them. Okay. Tell me more about this pale energy. Time to get out of a situation. What is the situation that you need to get out of? Ooh. I feel like you need to separate yourself from somebody here that you're, you have some sort of like soul tie connection with. Okay. I feel like this person was sent to keep tabs on your life. Okay. This is somebody here that's very smart and knows what to do to, to steal your time, your effort, your money. Okay. Somebody uses time or memories to keep somebody fulfilled, but that's just an illusion here. Okay. Let's see. I heard something about DNA. I don't know if this is um your DNA, your family. Or whatever is going on. I hear something about DNA, okay? Somebody's name could be Dana. Message for Virgo. Okay. So we do have heartbreak. Somebody here is healing from some form of heartbreak. I feel like now that somebody is able to regenerate their, their heart... I think that somebody needs to or is separating their feelings because there was some sort of love spell. Some sort of love spell is being broken. Okay, somebody did not want a person to have feelings for you or you for them. They're, they're feeling fucked up over you and this person wants to mirror their, their energy off onto you so that you understand that they love you but they've held back for whatever reason when it comes to popping the question. Somebody here has never felt a love like this before when it comes to you. And they're actually mourning this connection because of how much they love you here. Okay. I feel like this person is giving up being submissive or um, not being submissive enough to you. I feel like somebody gets into romantic partnerships just to get what they want. But then they end up losing out on the things that they truly want. All for what? Okay. Somebody here could be going through a loss of something or someone. And I feel like this is going to be illuminated to you. Somebody is going through a loss here. Whether that be you not being in their life anymore or something going on in their life. Somebody is missing out on something or losing something. There could be an actual death here. I feel like somebody that's that's holding back on their feelings for you. They do have regrets. I feel like this person is regretting not being vulnerable with their emotions or their feelings because feelings keeps coming out in reverse. I feel like, look, it's so funny. I said DNA earlier and that's what I picked up on. Somebody here is pregnant. Like there's a positive pregnancy here. Okay. Okay. Or there's something about a person's DNA. Somebody is, is holding back some sort of secret from you pertaining to this, this uh, false feminine. 
there's a false feminine here that may not be a divine feminine, but she's playing it off like this. Somebody here could be like um, extracting your DNA little by little. Okay. I feel like somebody's conspiring with a person that might be able to help them do this. Okay. Whether that be a spiritual practitioner that abuses um, spiritual authority to use divination, or this could be somebody that's um, into science or whatever the case may be. Okay. Some I heard encapsulation. Somebody's trying to encapsulate something when it comes to DNA or whatever the case may be is. Okay. There's some sort of workplace affair that's going on as well. What's the ancestral message? Somebody is no longer wanting to be triggered by karmic lessons or going through cycles. You're walking away from that completely. I feel like spirit is uh, allowing you to express yourself through gratitude. It's like you're on a gratitude rampage. Something is already happening as you're expressing your daily gratitude, writing it down keeping track of the things that you are grateful for and want in your life. Okay. There's some sort of sex magic that could be going on to create or collaborate. Okay. Somebody wants to collaborate with you. They're doing sex magic. Okay. Or sex magic is needed to collaborate or whatever the case may be. Okay. Somebody here also, right? is very set on something not changing or somebody is is reluctant to change something yeah somebody does not want this sex magic where collaboration is involved to change somebody wants that to, to stay the same okay let's see tell me more What's the message? Somebody or something is coming very soon. Okay. We have fertility. Okay. So somebody here is a divine feminine. There's a divine feminine that's coming in or there's something about a divine feminine pertaining to um, birthing new ideas and nurturing energies. Somebody here could be pregnant though. I feel like somebody wants you to be pregnant for them at the same time. Is that why sex magic is being used? Or is somebody here from a karmic family trying to use jealousy to keep you unawakened to whatever blessings is coming for a feminine? Somebody's trying to keep you out of the loop, either of your own blessing or something like that because they're jealous. There is a karmic family member or members that are doing this. OK, I feel like you could be nurturing or birthing new ideas or you might find out about a birth that is coming up or happening right now. OK, somebody is leaving to be with a um, life partner and, and leaving behind this third party. Somebody no longer wants to be confused about this unawakened or um, dark space that they're in or dark time. I heard quickly. I don't know what's going on, but that's what I'm picking up on. Okay, so we have manipulation and longing. Okay, somebody here that might have manipulated you or may have carried a lot of toxic traits that you may have either noticed or not noticed. This person is missing you, desiring the connection, wanting to be close to you, but I feel like they've kept this to themselves. Okay, or are currently keeping this to themselves. I feel like um, there is a delay in this, this person and you coming together because there's a lack of forgiveness or not working through the things that may have bothered the two of you or um, you all in individually. That's what I'm picking up on. 
I do feel like somebody here has been trying to get their stuff together financially. And it's like, there's a lot going on pertaining to somebody's sole purpose. Somebody that brings some sort of loyal impact in your life is passionate about you, wants to be honest about this. Yeah. Or divine feminine, you have this loyal side of you that makes this person want to celebrate. Yeah, with you, but it, it might be the wrong timing. The wrong timing for this to happen. Okay. Let's see here. What is spirit telling you about the situation? Somebody's name is Tanique, Janique, Monique. Somebody's um, initials are TF. That's what I'm picking up on. Somebody here may be holding back on getting some form of information or may not need it. I feel like somebody's unwilling to compromise or to indulge in something, but I feel like you're ready. There's something that you're ready for, but you need to allow compromising to be a part of this. Take action and trust in your yourself and your guides that this is the right time for something here. You're ready. Let's see. Why is get more information in reverse for Virgo? What is it that you're not getting more information on? A decision being made, karma being laid down for somebody. I feel like somebody's prioritizing what they want to give their time and energy to. And I feel like you just feel like there's nothing but badness coming from this. I feel like somebody's just using you as a resource. I'm hearing monument too, to just take whatever they can and suck you of your energy source to do whatever it is that they want want you to do okay somebody feels like you should give them like you should allow them to sacrifice you to get what they want okay every single time because it's like it's not like they have a component a spiritual component that you have you can restore yourself they want you to, to step to the side to, to give them that, that leeway to go forward because you know that um, anything that may possibly happen in the process, it's like you could get over it, but they wouldn't be able to with the chariot in reverse because they are not the chosen one. Or maybe they just haven't worked up to um, unlocking certain parts of themselves that might lead them to being a divine feminine or masculine if that makes any sense here somebody here could be a libra okay or have libra in their chart somebody's name starts with the letter f okay i told you tf could be significant or ft somebody's name could be terry tanya Let's see. Tommy. Let's see. Somebody could be into games or game playing or being a gamer, having a gamer platform or whatever this is. I'm also getting here child eternal. So there's some sort of determination to remain young in body, mind, and spirit. There's ability to see things with fresh eyes. I told you there's something about your DNA here. I feel like somebody here either wants you to carry their offspring, like a surrogacy type of energy, 
or somebody wants to use your DNA for themselves to be able to carry something that has a gift attached to it or something like that because they want a, a, a divine child. Somebody wants to give birth to a divine child here. And I feel like somebody wants a child to be able to benefit off of. And I feel like without you, they will get a regular, regular child that may be special to them in their own way, but not special enough to give them what they want. Somebody wants to be able to carry on some sort of lineage that they could use so that they could um, be like, use that story. But it's really off of your, your development, your spiritual energy. Okay. That's what I'm picking up on. And I've been talking about this, not only in my verbal readings, but also in my collective message. I also have a, um, another channel. So go ahead and check that out. Somebody here may want to write a book or is keeping some sort of like, um, some side of some type of notation. Okay. About something. Okay. It might have to do with somebody's insecurities or a person feeling like they've been betrayed by somebody they love. Okay. This could be a knight, a masculine energy. Okay. We have learning the transcendent nature of oneself. No, it says learning the transcendent nature of service to oneself or a cause. Okay, somebody here is doing something only for themselves. Somebody here wants to have a child with your gifts attached to it. Something like that. That's what I'm picking up here. Or wants your genetics attached to a child that they call theirs. Okay. So we have proposal. That's the first one that's coming out. So your romance is about to evolve and level up. There's a serendipitous event that's going to happen. Okay. And I feel like somebody here that comes in with a gift feels like you're their soulmate or vice versa. So there's a serendipitous event that leads to a proposal. Okay. Somebody is ready or you're ready to accept or, or go towards somebody that you feel very strongly about. Okay. Okay. So we have worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life right now. I do see here that there's some form of a physical connection that somebody has towards you and they feel like how they feel physically is attached to their emotions right now. And, um, they are considering this to be confirmation that this is a love that can last a long time because not only are they physically connected, but it's like everything else is tying together for them. Somebody here is going to be expressing their love to you, or you're going to be expressing your love to them. I feel like, um, Somebody here may not reciprocate the same energy, but I feel like somebody is very adamant on you being their soulmate or twin flame, or maybe you have two different individuals that you need to go to go to figure out who you want to be with. There's um, an energy of a twin flame and a soulmated situation. And I feel as somebody is going out of the box to do something that they normally wouldn't to show you that they're serious with some sort of proposal. Okay. Let's see what this person wants to tell you. Okay, so this card is blank. Somebody may hesitate to start a conversation here. They want you to enjoy your life here. They see themselves in you. And they've never met somebody like you before. Still a rare vibe energy. It's like they could get down with whatever it is that you putting down here. They can feel you energetically. They're connecting. I wish I could hold you. Okay. Somebody's trying their best to do better or to improve, to be a better person. Because they do want to make a difference and be different. Okay. They want to take a different approach. Let's see, Holy Spirit Divine, what's the message? Okay, so 
there's some sort of faded situation that could be happening or somebody here is interested in um, getting a reading, okay? Somebody's withdrawing from some sort of loss. Somebody could have lost some money that they withdrew from the bank. Okay, something is late or delayed or may have um, been lost, okay? Okay, so I feel like somebody hasn't met a goal yet or something isn't coming together right now. I feel like somebody did something out of um, a positive purpose, but it's something that's unexpected here. Somebody's trying to curse you from not being able to meet requirements or set goals for yourself or to get some level of achievement. Somebody is disturbing something through doing through doing some sort of like catastrophe spell work or on your misfortune or for you to have misfortune here. This is somebody that's well known. This is somebody on some sort of platform that has a lot of followers. Okay. This could be somebody that's into real estate or um, is very wealthy. This is somebody here that has a really big platform. There's somebody that's in the entertainment industry or in some form of an industry that may be causing you stoppages in your fortune or when it comes to your money, okay? This could be somebody that's incarcerated too but um, has a big following. This is an emperor type energy. This is a masculine here. Somebody in the industry has put you up to have a sacrifice done to you. This is somebody that's known as the big bully. I don't know who this is in the entertainment industry. There's a lot of bullies here. There's a lot of masculines doing this. They put you up for a personal sacrifice. And I feel like they would never, they think that you would never guess who it is because they wear multiple masks. Okay. The number 60 and 26 could be significant. Look, again, this card is coming out. Again, this card is coming out, the faded card. Okay. Somebody here definitely is getting a reading or there's something about a tarot reader. Somebody sees that you're getting some sort of triumph or trophy or whatever this is. I talked about this in uh, the, the beginning of this read and they want you to lose something. So maybe as you withdraw something out of your account, you're supposed to lose it. That's how it's supposed to go down here. What? Because remember, we did see withdraw and then um, gain in reverse. Like something is supposed to literally disappear out of your hands or you are supposed to misplace something or you cannot find it. Okay. Somebody has been conspiring behind the scenes to do this to you. Somebody in the industry that wears multiple masks. Okay. Somebody is pulling strings to purposefully to make sure that you become homeless. This is somebody's um, energy. There's something about your memory or your memory bank. I feel like you are being taken off of some sort of personal sacrifice that somebody wants you to be a part of. Yep. Somebody's trying to teach a lesson or somebody here could be a teacher or there's somebody that you could learn from or somebody that could have been a mentor. Yeah. This could also be somebody that manages your money or whatever this is. This is somebody that has been manifesting or tapping into your dreams to also um, solidify the things that they don't know or to bring you lost. Somebody here has been astral traveling, okay? This could be a person with a family dynamic. This could be a karmic family. So somebody here with um, karmic family in the industry is doing this to you. Somebody with a, a very big platform, somebody that wears multiple masks here. 
all right? I feel like you, you have to make a decision between either having your family or losing a little bit of money. That's what I'm picking up on. Somebody wants you to break a promise to get you untrapped from whatever this person is trying to do to you. Somebody is definitely trying to uh, bribe you with either losing rights to your family or putting up your money to be taken by this person. But this person is all already established, already has a following, and you're starting from scratch, from the ground up. And this person wants to do this to you, okay? This is somebody that already has some sort of initiation with um, government entities, the Illuminati, secret societies, all them type of shit there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I told you they're already initiated. They've already had to do something in order to be a member of these secret societies, okay? This is a masculine energy that's doing this. It's an emperor, somebody that could potentially be an Aries. Look, we have luck. Yes, yeah, somebody here wants you to um, take this bribe, but this is all. This bribe is also a warning. Like, if you don't do the right thing by giving them this gain that you're coming into, it's like your your family is at stake. Your children, your livelihood, everything around your children. It's like. You don't know what to do. Somebody is stressed out about this here, okay? Somebody cannot um, unbind from their their children, their family, their, the people that they love, okay? Somebody here, right, is going to be able to gain back everything that they took as your blessing, okay? Somebody tried to take away your blessing, but you're still going to profit, okay? By you being in the situation, you're also teaching somebody a lesson, but through spirit, spirit is going to handle all this. The same person, right, that had everything, everything is going to crumble, okay? Everything is going to crumble around this emperor for doing this to you. Tell me more. So not only do you have an emperor that's in the industry or has a big following that's using multiple masks so that you he'll be disguised behind this mask, you have a feminine energy that's messing with using your DNA to try to have a child that, that carries on your, your energy, like your spiritual blessings or you being the chosen one. She wants to be able to be delivered off of this and to make profit by um, using your bloodline to do it, okay? They need your maternal energy to um, have a child with some sort of uh, calling on their life or being chosen or whatever this is, okay? We have a mature man and lovers, so there's a mature man here that may be realizing there's a lot of people that he needs to remove from his life, okay? Because they're bringing him down in some way that he didn't expect, okay? Somebody was um, called in to take something from you and to put you into bad health or somebody's in bad health in your community, okay? I feel like you're gonna become the privileged lady and this is concerning to this masculine here. Somebody's um, life is going to change. Somebody's going to build up some form of stability for themselves, okay? Somebody's going to mature from everything that they've endured or had to go through, all right? It's going to happen very shortly here. Somebody's going to try to make sure that this change doesn't happen, but things are going to move forward anyways, or there's somebody that's going to take the opportunity to, to travel or to move along, okay? Okay? Somebody's doing anything and everything that they possibly can to keep you from going forward. They're trying to make sure that something doesn't happen, but the change has already been in motion here. There's nothing that this person could do, okay? Something's not going to work. Somebody's not working or something is not going to work out for a person that thinks that they can undermine you, okay? I feel like there's an unofficial person that is going to help get you to where you need to be. 
okay this is for a main female here you're going to get confirmation through a letter or some sort of um dm or whatever this is that the path has been cleared for you to uh achieve or get this gift all right the numbers 5 15 24 and 38 could be significant message for Virgo somebody's opening your mail or tapping your phone listening to your conversations you know being put up on game secretly without your knowledge or behind your back yeah I feel like somebody here could have tried to um, damage or vandalize your property or your your vehicle whatever this is I hear that there's some sort of secret phone calls or co communication that's also happening with an alpha male or female here. Okay. So I feel like there is some sort of like quick messages that somebody is going to receive. This is somebody that's a rare breed pertaining to money. There is money that's coming to you and somebody is trying to illegally enter your home to figure out or report what they have found or not found. Okay, this is somebody that wants to remain anonymous, okay, or that you might not know. Okay, so we do have masculine energy. There is a masculine energy that could have a sister or could be using their sister's identification because they're they're out of their element. Okay, somebody here is in spiritual jail. Okay, somebody is underground in the spiritual jail here. Yep. This is somebody here that was initiated into a cult or is a part of some sort of cult or clique and is being used to bring in their incubus succubus energy to betray you. Okay, let's see. Tell me more. We have erased, deleting files, messages, and or pictures. Somebody here is definitely trying to remove evidence or to remove things that you may find to be very sentimental to you. Okay, somebody doesn't want you to know about a private relationship that's taking place. Okay, with a person that has a lot of confidence or whatever the case may be, somebody used another connection to uh, hurt and forget you. Okay, this is somebody that um, is a part of some sort of like polydynamic. Okay. Anyway, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you're interested in your own personal love reading, be sure to email me. And as always, stay blessed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.